Tuajua dhiri kari ya UDA na ya Asura. 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 Tuajua dhiri kari ya UDA na Gedongori MP Gadoni wa Mushomba has continued her onslaught against President William Ruto's administration, saying whoever the president's advices are are misleading him. Appearing on Spice FM on Monday, wa Mushomba castigated Ruto for saying his government does not have the money to pay the striking doctors. The MP said Kenya Kwanza government has all its priorities wrong, pointing out the affordable housing project as being one of them. The MP said something needs to be done in parliament because the situation is dire in public hospitals. She claimed that Ruto's administration has failed to provide even basic education to learners. Wamo Shamba further said the Kenya Kwanza government has failed to submit money for capitation for schools. This comes amid a biting doctor strike that has paralyzed health services in public health facilities across the country. President Ruto on Sunday told the striking doctors that his government does not have money to meet their demands. The president last night says that we have to ha to we have to try to live, live within, within our means. And I wondered, is Mr. President telling us that those of us who cannot afford to access Nairobi Hospital for medication, we try and adjust and just live with our problems? Mm. Exactly. Is Mr. President telling us that those of us who cannot be able to get to um, a nice maternity facility, a private operated maternity facility, then we continue getting our babies as women on the floor of public hospitals? Is Mr. President trying to tell us that those children who do not get to Form 1 because the Form 1 uh, transition this year has been the lowest at 90 point. 0.46% weighed up uh, down from 99%, almost 100% last year. Mm. Is Mr. President trying to tell us that now we continue languishing in agony and pain just because there's no money? What is our priority? Is it affordable housing or is it our medication? Mm. Is it our dying cancer patients or is it affordable housing? That is why I had to wake up at 4 a.m. I live in Kiambu County. I had to struggle with that traffic to come here and let the nation hear me. That our priorities are wrong and we must go back to the drawing board.